Hey there, welcome to the A Macintosh channel. Thanks for watching, hope you guys are okay out there. So I want to talk to you today about the Power Up 3D reel that I've been using. I've been using it for about three months now and um, so I thought I'd better give it a good review, let you know what I think, let you know how I've been getting on with it. I mean, for me, it's been really good. I've not had a single problem with it. Um, obviously, the three months that I've used it, it's been brilliant, uh, very reliable. When I first started cleaning windows, you know, I knew window cleaners who'd been cleaning windows the traditional way all their lives, complaining about aches and pains in their knees and their back from carrying the ladder and all that kind of thing. And I know it can be an issue with water-fed pole window cleaners. You know, the longer you've been doing it, repetitive strain type issues across your neck and shoulders can be a real issue. So. I think something like an electric hose reel, anything that saves your muscles, your neck, and, and anything that's gonna cause strain, I think it's gotta be worth it because in the long term, you know, looking after your body is so important. And it's going to, if it keeps you working longer, or if it means that you can actually do the job that you're there to do that more efficiently and more easily, then I think it's gotta be worth it. I think there's definitely some window cleaning bits of kit in the industry that's way overpriced that seems a bit unnecessary and i have to say i was wondering whether this was one of them but i think this is something that's really that's really got to be worth it a six mil hose is the other thing that i really recommend you know just the hose being that little bit lighter that little bit easier to move maneuver around paul who works with me he's working with um a manual reel and he's got an eight millimeter hose on it and he's just fitting out his new van now this is the one thing he wants to make sure he gets is an electric hose reel with a six millimeter hose, just to make life that bit easier uh, from day to day, moving between jobs, things like that. And when you're reeling the hose out a long way on bigger jobs like this, the electric um, makes all the difference. What I love about it, um, the button on the cable means I can stand back as I reel it in, make sure it doesn't catch on the, doesn't catch on the bumper of the van or the doors or anything like that. So yeah, it's been brilliant. I've heard from other people that have got the hose reel saying it's a little bit slow. I mean, it reels up 100 meters of hose in around a minute. So, I mean, that doesn't sound slow to me. But when you first start using it, it's a bit of a shock. You know, all of a sudden it's reeling in on its own. Um, but a couple of days you get used to it. I suppose it's not long before you start wishing you could turn it up a little bit, turn up the speed a little bit. But, um, but yeah, that's just a minor thing. I mean... The other thing that I wasn't quite sure about was the reel I took out was, although it was a manual reel, it was quite heavy duty metal hose reel. Uh, this is mainly plastic construction. That was a little bit of a concern for me because of some of the heavy duty pressure washing equipment I get in and out. A bit worried about bashing it or cracking it or, or something like that. I mean, what I would say compared to my metal one is it's a lot lighter. When I took out my metal one and I put this one in, I did really notice the big difference in weight. So if weight is an issue in your van, then, then this is definitely much lighter than the metal one that I had as well. But yeah, but it's not been a problem at all. In fact, I found it quite a bit of a space saver because I've got all this space now where I used to have two handles that spin round because of the two reels. Well, now I don't have the handle spinning round um, and I can even... I whack in a set of uh, gutter vac poles in a bag on top of here and I can, 
I can rest stuff on top of it and it won't interfere with the, the reel coming in and out. So I quite like that, the way you can stack things on top of the reel if you're really loading up uh, a lot of kit into the van. So that's quite good as well. So it's been fantastic. I'd really recommend getting an electric hose reel. I'm converted. Another thing to mention is when I fitted the reel first of all, if you saw the video where I fitted the reel, because on my van it's the left hand door that opens first, I wanted to fit it on this side. The reel is really originally set up to be fitted on the other side. So I had to turn it round because the water comes in to the hose reel on this side and there's the manual emergency um, reel crank you can put in on this side so it had to be this way round for me and originally when I hooked it up to the battery if you saw when I connected the wires the reel was basically winding the wrong way round because I had to fit it the other way round it's basically fitted backwards so the quick fix for that was just to put the wires the other way round it took me a day or two to realize you could do that but that was as easy as that just switch the wires round on the battery you can do that it's not going to cause an issue it's not going to cause a problem the only thing to look out for an electrician did comment on the video and say that you just need to make sure you switch the fuse over to the red wire. The fuse has to be connected to whatever wire is connected to the red positive terminal on the battery. That's just to make sure you're prevented from fire, any danger of fire. So yeah, just one thing to look out for there. So there you go. Big thumbs up for electric hose reel. So thanks for watching, hope you find my channel useful. I uh, hope it helps you out in your business. Decide what bits of kit you want to get. Of course, if you haven't seen my channel before, don't forget all the videos. There's loads more in the playlists. Check out the playlists if you go directly to my channel. Hopefully, you find lots of useful things there. Waterford pole, traditional window cleaning too. Tons about the different gutter vacs I've used. Pressure washing as well. Have a look. Check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you again soon.